Tecumseh Junior High School is a target of a juvenile discipline program. Rebecca Humphrey with Tippecanoe County Youth Services says the juvenile justice system realized there was a problem that needed addressed. We found that um, kids were getting locked up over and over again, upwards of 17 times per year. And so that told us that just locking up kids didn't work. So we really wanted an alternative um, to help kids have healthy development. The School Pathways Project is aimed at kids with behavior issues that might have otherwise ended up in the system. Tecumseh Principal Brandon Hawkins says things like fighting, drugs, or alcohol can land a student with what they call the school-based youth liaison. If one of those behaviors happens, then we would contact with the youth liaison and say, we have a student who got in a fight. Um, you know, we gave them this consequence, but we'd like you to work with them on, on their aggression training. That way they can have, again, kind of think about their behavior and then get some new tools in their toolbox. So when that student is presented with that situation again, they have a different response. Hawkins says he and the liaison sit down each week and look at students who might have a downward trend in their behavior. Those students might then go through things like interactive journaling to help them address how they've been acting and think things out. Hawkins says he sees the various techniques the liaison uses working. We're not going to pretend that every student comes out perfect, but um, like I said, from seventh to eighth grade, you know, what, what I really, one thing I look at is recidivism and the students that um, that really made some poor choices before, and then we got the youth liaison involved, and then how are they responding after? Tecumseh isn't the only school in the corporation using the model. Humphrey says it's working in other schools and says arrests made on Lafayette school campuses is down overall. Last year, um, we there was not an arrest on school grounds at Tecumseh for six weeks, so into September. That and that's a you know it's not like kids get arrested on the first day, uh, but there's always the possibility of that. So you know, kind of looking at that data in a more meaningful way, how how long can we kind of hold it off um, before arrests happen? The discipline program has no end in sight. Principal Hawkins says he plans to start getting other employees on board. My hope is that. We take some of the skill sets that he has and we help transfer those to our guidance staff and some of our other staff members so we can bring some of the strategies and skills that he has down a little sooner. Hunch Petroviak, Star City News.